This is an extended version of my demo of the performance of BFQ with an SSD. This time we will fully compare BFQ not only with CFQ, but also with Deadline and Nov. This demo is made of three parts too. The first is about responsiveness, the second about latency for soft real-time applications, and the third about throughput. As a background workload, in this demo we use, for simplicity and brevity, only raw sequential readers, that is, processes reading blocks sequentially and directly from the device. As for reads or writes with regular files, with these workloads the relative performance of BFQ with respect to the other schedulers is, in most cases, even better than with only raw reads. See, for example, my previous demo with an hard disk. In the main window we start applications, whereas in the three windows in the bottom right-hand corner we start background workloads, switch between I.O. schedulers and show the current scheduler. Finally, in the monitor at the bottom left-hand corner we show the current throughput of the SSD, whose recorded peak rate is about 500 MB per second. As for the first part of the demo, about responsiveness, we begin by starting LibreOffice Writer repeatedly with cold caches and without any background workload. For each invocation, we measure and report the startup time of the application. Below this value, we report also the pre-computed average startup time of the application, which is about 600 milliseconds. We use the latter value as a reference in the following scenarios where an additional background workload is executed in parallel with invocation of LibreOffice Writer. In these scenarios, IO schedulers do come into play. As a first example, we are starting just one reader and we can see that with CFQ, startup times become at least seven times as high as when the device was idle. We will uh, switch now to NOP. On this SSD things do improve. After the switch there are a few unavoidable fluctuations, mainly due to the switch itself, but then the startup time soon stabilizes to a little bit more than twice the idle startup time. This is somehow surprising as CFQ is a much more complex and accurate scheduler than NOP. Actually this is a lucky device for NOP. Whereas on, for example, some Intel SSDs, not guarantees a much worse responsiveness than CFQ. On this device, Deadline performs even slightly better than NOP on average, as you can see. So, for brevity, in the rest of this demo we will compare BFQ only with CFQ and Deadline. Now, if we add another reader, then startup times with Deadline become almost four times as high as when the device was idle. Expectedly, things get much worse with CFQ. We have to wait, wait and wait. While waiting, it is worth adding that on other devices such as the Intel SSDs I mentioned before, this is what happens also with Deadline and NOP. Now, as in my previous demos, one may think that this growth of the startup time is somehow unavoidable, given the intense I.O. being performed in the background. But Things do change if we switch to BFQ. The startup process immediately completes and after the usual fluctuations, startup times drop down to just the idle startup time plus two tenths of a second. Now, as in my previous demo, we can also consider an extreme scenario with many more readers. Even with 10 readers in the background, with BFQ, startup times are still at most twice as high as when the device was idle. Instead, if we switch to deadline, then startup times become more than 16 times as high as when the device was idle. And things would get even much worse with CFQ with the application becoming completely unresponsive. For brevity, we do not show also what happens with CFQ. You can see it, for example, in the previous version of this demo. If we switch now back to BFQ, then startup times become, again, not higher than twice the idle startup time. 
we can now move to the second part of the demo. In this part we show the latency guaranteed by BFQ to software time applications by showing the playback of a movie while time readers are being executed in parallel. First, the playback starts immediately. You can notice some glitches during the playback, but they are only due to the video hardware and driver. In particular, the playback is still perfectly smooth, even if, to make things worse, we also start invoking LibreOffice repeatedly again. Now the scene is quite static and hence less demanding, but as you are about to see, also in the next uh, and much more demanding fragment of the trailer, which is about to start, there is no playback problem. Now, if we repeat the same test with deadline, we will see that the video takes much more to start, as expected. We have to worry. Now we are restarting it and we have to wait. And wait. And wait. But, apart from that, I.O. latencies are low enough to guarantee a smooth playback. In contrast, with CFQ, as well as with Deadline and NOP on other devices, we would bump again into the same responsiveness problem. The video would just not start, as before you can see it in the previous version of this demo. We have reached now the last part of this demo, of this demo where uh, we show an example of the throughput achieved by each of the four scheduler. To this purpose, we let only the 10 readers go on, and we start with BFQ. As you can see from the monitor, the average throughput with BFQ is around 420 megabytes per second. And it remains the same with CFQ and with deadline and finally with NOP. And this brings us to the end of this demo. Thanks for watching this video.